Hey Stellar Space Travelers, today we got a build video for the Deimos Stealth. And if you like what you see, leave a like. If you like to see more, subscribe for more. Let's dive right in, see what we can do. The Deimos Stealth. Very sleek, streamlined build. It took me quite a few hours to build it. A lot of trial and error but as usual the best way I know how to build it is delete it and rebuild it so we're gonna start off with a regular hab any old hab will do a one by three double them up right off the bat we're gonna delete them don't matter what they are Next, we're going to get our wing pieces out. We're going to grab all of the Deimos wings, stack them off on the side just so you can see what they are. The radiator piece. The wing. Next, we'll go down to the Nova. Crawling. Get that out. Next, the Stroud cap. Next, a few pieces from Tayo just for decor on the wing. The last cap from Tayo. That's everything you need for the wings. Now we'll start out with the Stroud. It's the easiest to place. Got to place these connections and Stroud doesn't have that connection right there and that's key. So we're going to start out with the two back to back and then we're going to put the two right on the bottom. Just like that. And we're going to grab our Novas. I'm gonna hook those right here. I'm gonna move our hab pieces up so we have that connection point to connect to. Right up there to there, connections. Snap, snap. Yeah, flip, flop, and blend. Yeah, a lot of blending in this one. Gotta move our hab pieces back. a little farther back because we got to take those wing, those Deimos wings next. I'm going to throw those Novas the other way, clone it, establish it, flip, flop, release, it's on there. And let's grab our wings, let's blend that in right here. Then you can just clone these down. They'll usually snap down. Make it real easy. Now we gotta move our halves back up. So we can use do the front part of the wings. The reason we're using the halves is just so you can click to it. Just need something to click to. Flap and release. Clone that one, put it in front. Clone those, snap them down. We're gonna add the wing pieces. These radiator pieces on. Just clone those right to the back. I like to do the top row first. It seems the snap down is a little easier. Snap those down, bam, bam. Double up on this side, boom. Now these tile pieces, they can be tricky in parts. So I'll show you one way I do it and one way I don't. See how I, 
I had nothing to click to there, so I'm going to move this cap off. Now I have somewhere to click to. Get that established. Put the Stroud cap back on. Just move this a little closer, that's for later. Then this tile build, like I said, is just for the decor part of it. Gives it that bigger engine look in the back. Gives it that little round action look, I like it. And that's one part of the wing right there. All right, next, <clears throat> we're gonna add our gear. Gotta use the strouds and make sure you have the one that has all four connections. You need all four connections. You need two of them. Then we're gonna grab our belly, throw that on the front, get that out of the way. There's a key important piece that goes right there and you gotta make sure that belly's in there first. It gets rid of a lot of the warnings. All right, next we're gonna need our one by one hab. Throw my Stroud on there. This will be your entry point of your vehicle. Docker, bay. Clone one, throw it right on the bottom. You'll get rid of it later, it's for something, for the bay. Throw your one by two on top. That could be whatever you want. Mine's a living quarters. Grab the cockpit and put that on the front. I like the Strouds, so I use that the most. And we'll grab our bay and the tile one. The tile one doesn't click right up onto it, so that's what this is for. You click it there and then you just clone it, snaps up, delete, delete, bam, there you go. Getting there. All right, grab one of your Stroud caps, clone that. And those should go right there. Shouldn't need to do anything to that one, but this next one, you're gonna have to clone it and establish it. Get it in there, flip, flop, and drop. Now this piece here, these are what give it that little stealthy look on the wings. A lot of blending with this one. Kind of gets uh, tedious in a way. All right, now that one by the belly, you definitely need to snap this one down. Because you have, uh, if you see, I got unattached modules. Snap that down, click it. Now that's gone. No more unattached module, so everything seems to work out once you attach that one. All right, we'll take uh, one of our bays, or one of our landing gear, spawn. We'll put a couple extra. We don't need them, we're gonna delete them. It's just for our snapping two for our next wing. You'll get rid of them later, just to make things easier for now. Then grab any old 1x3 hab. Got the Hope Tech right here, throw that on there. And that'll be your slider piece to connect everything to. Grab one of your, ooh, what'd I do there? Must have grabbed it and that cloned it. Let me throw that back there real quick. Now let's clone one for the other wing. Start this other wing out. Line that up, start placing the wings down. 
And same thing as a wash and repeat. We're gonna put our four in. Okay, looking good so far. Grab our Nova. Get those in place. Drop that down, flip flop. Nice, looking good. Got to make sure those are in there on the bottom. Sometimes they clone and they don't snap too. They just kind of disappear. So you got to double check the one on the bottom. Grab another one. This is the bottom one. We're going to double check it. See it flip flop, release it. Our one by three head back will clone over one of the Deimos wings. Get that in place. Clone it down, snap it. Move over your hab up to the front, clone over some more wings. It's key to make sure you do that back part of the wing first. Then you do the forward part of this wing. Doesn't seem to work right for some reason. Snap them down, and as you can see, it won't snap down. So you got to do the back first, then you can do the front. Now you got that all in, get rid of your extra gear that you don't need. Get rid of the ones in the back. Get at our more, most important piece, the belly. Clone it, snap it up over there. Looking good, getting there. I'm going to put our other wing pieces in. Easily cloned. Grab our radiator pieces, clone those as equal. Do a little snap and drop. Snap and drop those. Looking good. All right, we'll grab our tile pieces. Oh, see how it snaps on this side, but it didn't snap on the other side. So you'll see they get, oh, yep. And then sometimes when you put it in, it drops. So just clone it, it'll snap up. Delete the one on the bottom. Good. And grab your tile caps, bring those back, establish it. Get that one in place. Flip, flop, and drop. Clone. Same thing, flip, flop, and drop. And we're gonna grab our Stroud caps. First one doesn't need nothing, fits right in. Second one, you gotta establish it, flip it around. Blend it, drop it in. Now we're coming together. Grab our all important wing pieces. As again, this part gets a little sketchy sometimes. Just like that. Sometimes you can't click it. Get that one in. We have unattached modules. Blend that down. That should take care of that warning. Looking good. Put our docker in. I like the one that goes on the bottom. Blends in with the stealth look. Come to the back here, we got this gap right here. We put our reactor in, B class. Dog star. Oh, there it is. Because it's got the four connection points, so you'll be able to attach an engine to the back of it real nice. But your grab drive cannot have four connection points. 
it can only have three on the sides. So the gear has something to connect snap back to. You always have to keep a connection point available. So there's three connection points, there's four here, so that gear has something to snap to. Flop it three times because there's three varieties and drop it back in. We're going to do the same thing on these bottom two for our fuel tanks. And you can grab whatever ones you like. If you want to go lighter or heavier, it's your choice. I like these right here. These four hundos. Own it, drop it over there. Grab this. Flip, 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 drop. Same thing, flip, flip, and flip, and drop. At our engines. Get rid of those pieces. Just makes uh, installing the engine a little easier. Now these engines, again, you'll have to go to Stroud Eklund to get them buy them and come back with them. They come in different varieties so you can get them at different levels. You're going to want four of them. They fit right in real nice. And then you just want to clone those back down, the back wings, for the look. And down to four warnings. Looking real nice. Add some of the weaponry. Now I do a lot of taking over other ships with this ship. They always just say they don't see me coming. So I throw those on the back so I can hide them in the wings so you don't see them. Real nice. And again, everyone has their idea of what the best weapon is, so anything goes here. Throw it on top, and then you're going to clone it down to the middle, because it gets a little finagly. So grab it there, bring it down to the bottom, drop it, clone it up. Now you got two in the middle. Come to the other side, we're going to do the same thing. And clone it up to the middle. We're going to drag that to the top and clone down and delete. We got our four right there in the middle, tucked away real nice. The other weapons, I like my autos. These seem to hit real nice. Same thing, we're going to drop them on top. We're going to clone it down. Grab that one, put it all the way at the bottom. Clone it up. Drag that around to the other side and wash and repeat. Clone up. Coming all the way up with it. Clone down and delete. Nice. Looking real nice. Down to the one warning, that's just the weapons. So you can take this cap off right here, and this wing piece, and you can throw your shield right there. This is a flat based shield, works best here. I got this 10 jobber. Drop that in, put the cap back on. Blend it in. Put your wing piece back on. Get that in. Looking real nice. It's got to sign your ship war uh, warnings here. However you like them. Normalize. Ready to go. Now let's just throw some paint on it. We're going to use our typical gray. I'm going to 
throw a little bit of splash of white in there. Got to grab this one. This one seems to paint backwards, so you just got to flip flop the color two and three. And I'll line those colors up a little better. And there you have it. There is the Deimos Stealth. And you could also trade out the two belly pieces for cargo pieces if you like. But I prefer not to. I got a cargo ship. Here's me just driving it around. What we got here? They say easy pickings. Like nothing. Don't want to wound them too bad. Next, yeah, take all the power out of there, throw it into my suppressor. Love how you bounce off objects. <laughs> easy peasy in space. We like to capture my ships. waiting for him. Coming in hot on you. Blow that asteroid out of the way. Go turn around and... Bounce. <laughs> All the lake class shit. That, no problem to take over here. They're mine. Starborn. Waste my time. Get them on the run. There you have it. The demo stealth. If you like what you see, leave a like. If you'd like to see more, subscribe for more. And as usual, here's a few of my other ships of the Deimos variety. It's my single man fighter. And I also got the Deimos Star Cruiser. A maxed out build here. You maybe got one or two pieces that you can interchange, but other than that, you're at the build limit right here. But if you would like to see any of these built, leave in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Thank you, and have a stellar night, everybody. Thanks for watching.